Hey everyone, this is Danny Dollar's Financial Guide to Awesomeness, brought to you by Adopt the Class and sponsored by US Bank. I'm Danny Dollar, author Ty Allen Jackson. Let's rock and roll. Okay, last video we stated that money's important, right? Then I have a few questions. What is money? At some point in life, we're all introduced to money. We probably don't remember it, but I'm guessing that we were babies and most of us saw our mom or dad hand someone a dollar bill and receive something in return, a snack, a book, a watch, something that was exchanged for the money. And that's what money is. It is a medium of exchange. Usually money is exchanged for a good or for a service. A good is an item like a pair of sneakers, like a hat, like a phone, you know, a thing. A service is a job that someone does for you, like a babysitter or a dentist or a carpenter or mechanic. Another word for exchanging goods and services is bartering. Back in the old days, paper money and coins didn't exist. Instead, people exchanged stuff like animals, shells, even salt for things that they wanted. There were many different forms of exchange. The problem was how to figure out the value of what you're exchanging. What kind of animal would you exchange for an ice cream cone? How many shells would your video game cost? How many pounds of salt would it take to purchase a new skateboard? It was really hard to figure out how much something was worth. So paper money and coins were created and giving a measure of value. $1, $5, $10, and so on. And the items and services that we buy also have a measure of value. Genius. Now, a $1 bill will get you an apple, but not a car, because they don't have the same value. And the whole world agreed on this value system called money. Pretty awesome. Now, you can determine that haircuts will cost you 15 bucks, or a hamburger will cost you 450. Lucky me, I save a ton of money on haircuts. Next question, how do you make money? Answer. You don't make money. Making money is called counterfeiting, and counterfeiting is illegal. You don't make money, you earn money. And how do you earn money? By getting a job, like a teacher, or a doctor, or a bus driver, which is kind of hard to do if you're a kid. So you can create your own job. That's called an entrepreneur. And that's what Danny Dollar is. He's an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who starts their own business with the goal of making money. The key word in that definition is someone. I'm someone, you are someone too. But you're probably thinking, I'm too young to become an entrepreneur. No, you're not. You can become an entrepreneur at any age. You can become an entrepreneur today. All you need is an idea, it's a plan, and the hustle to make it happen. One of my favorite entrepreneurs started his own business at just nine years old. Meet Mo Bridges, the creator of Mo's Bows. At age nine, Mo Bridges from Memphis, Tennessee, loved wearing bow ties, even to school. After consistently being asked, where did you get that bow tie by people who admired his style, he and his mom created Mo's Bows, the bow tie company. Just a few years later, he was featured on the hit show Shark Tank and blew up. With a strong work ethic and a never give up attitude, Mo now has a net worth of over $1 million and is listed as one of Time Magazine's most influential teams. Mo even signed a multi-million dollar deal with the NBA. Wow, go Mo. Maybe you're wondering what kind of business should you start? There are so many different ways to be an entrepreneur and earn money. Starting your own business like Danny Dollar or Mo Bridges gives you a feeling of independence. You control what you do, you control when and how you do it. Of course, to start your own business, there are a few things you need to figure out. Will your business provide a good or a service? Is there something you're really good at? Can you play piano? If so, Offering your talent to play piano at parties or even teaching people how to play piano is a service that would be a great business. Maybe you're really great at braiding hair, or maybe you're really techy or super into social media. Showing people how to use a computer or how to upload photos on social media is a great way to start a business. Although, I do admit, enabling adults to post and do the latest dance craze is super exciting. I still can't get this right. But if you can make a couple of bucks showing people how to upload their videos on TikTok, Instagram, or Snapchat, 
then go for it. Ka-ching. On the other hand, if you're really good at making stuff, are you good at making your own clothes like Mo Bridges? Or do you like building or crafting things? Are you a great cook or a baker? Here's what I want you to do. Get a sheet of paper and write down a list of products you think you can make and sell. Also, make a list of services that you think you can provide. And I bet you're wondering how a kid can even start their own business. Well, I'll tell you how Danny Dollar started his. He started his own business with a plan. And that plan is simply called a business plan. A business plan is a document that breaks down your big idea and helps you put all your thoughts in one place. Here's an example of Danny Dollar's Lemonade Stand business plan. To start your own business, you need to get organized. And having a plan that is a business plan is super necessary. Need some startup cash? Depending upon the kind of business you're starting, you may need a little or a lot of capital to get started. If the business that you want to start is a service-based business on your talent, like teaching people how to play piano, you may need only a few bucks for flyers and marketing materials. Your service isn't based on things you need to buy because your talent is the service. But if your business is about making a product, you're probably going to need some startup money. Startup money is exactly what it sounds like, money to start a business. Another word for it is capital. If it looks like your business idea is going to need more capital than you can scrounge up, you might want to think about simplifying your business idea so that it's less expensive to get off the ground. Maybe you don't need umbrellas for that cup of lemonade. That said, if you need a little capital, it's no big deal. There are a few ways to come up with some startup cash. One, have a business partner like a friend or a sibling that you can share the cost with. Two, borrow money from a family member or a friend and pay them back out of your profits. Three, if you're going really big, you can go to an online funding platform like GoFundMe or Kickstarter. Got it? Good. You gotta know who your customer is. Knowing your customer is vital to success. If I lived in Antarctica and tried to open up a lemonade stand, I would probably fail big time. A hot chocolate stand might be a better idea. But in a place where the weather is warm, a refreshing glass of lemonade would be awesome. Think about where you live and what your community or neighborhood needs. Here are some examples of jobs that fill the needs in certain times or places. Lemonade on a hot day, mowing lawns and washing cars in the summertime, raking leaves in the fall, shoveling snow in the wintertime, selling baked goods at a school function. Keep your eyes open for opportunities that fit the needs of the people around you and then fulfill those needs. People will thank you. How will you market your business? When you have your business up and running, will you keep it a secret or shout, shout it out it from out the rooftops? rooftops? You'd shout it out loud because the more people who know about your business, the more potential customers you have. Marketing is the art of spreading the news about your business. There are a ton of ways to do this. Here are some examples of either inexpensive or free ways to market your business. Print flyers. Start a social media page. Share images of social media of customers enjoying your product or service, but make sure to get their permission first. Create business cards. Create a sign. Create chalk art leading them to your stand if you're selling from a sidewalk. Ask for referrals from satisfied customers. Offer coupons. These marketing ideas may cost a little bit more, but can be very profitable in the long run. Advertise on radio or newspapers. Make t-shirts with your business name or logo on them. Give samples away. And offer a percentage of proceeds away to charitable organizations. When it comes to letting people know that your business exists, you gotta be bold and creative. Have fun with it, be silly, shout it out. Now, if you're a kid, there's another way to earn money without starting your own business. You can get an allowance. Getting an allowance from your parents is a great way to be introduced to the concept of earning money. Of course, it's dependent upon your parents' willingness to offer you an allowance. But if they agree and you can come to terms with a fair dollar amount, it can work out nicely. When I was a kid, this is what I did for my allowance. I made up my bed, cleaned my room daily, I set the table for dinner on weekends, I took out the trash every Sunday, I did the dishes on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I vacuumed on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. 
I didn't mind doing chores at all. It helped me understand the value of a dollar and that it's important to be rewarded for your work. Chores are a great way to learn about responsibilities and earning money, but it has its upsides and its drawbacks. Upside, most chores are done at home, cool. Usually they're pretty easy and stuff that you already do, except now you get paid for it, cha-ching. If you have siblings, you can share and even trade chores. If you're really good at doing your chores, you can ask for a raise. Usually you get paid in cash and your parents are the boss. Downsides. Doing the same chores over and over again can get kind of boring. You don't make a lot of money with your allowance, so your chances of becoming a millionaire from your allowance are zero. And your parents are the boss. So whether you're getting your allowance or starting up your own business, kids can make money at any age. You just need an idea and a plan and the hustle to make it happen. Like Danny, you too can be the king or queen of cha-ching. I'm Ty Allen Jackson, and I'll see you next time.